Welcome back to The Magic Mechanic right here on WDBO. My name is Josh McCarthy, bringing you the expert advice. Well, reality, I'm just answering the phones. But I know a guy who has all the advice, and that is Larry Perry, The Magic Mechanic. If you've got a question for him, call 844-580-9326, 844-580-WDBO. And Larry's been doing this for a long time. Isn't that right, Larry? Long time, Josh. Um, Perfect. Hey, folks, listen. You know, there's something that kind of come across my lap here a little bit ago, and um, it was somebody watching our uh, YouTube channel, and uh, they sent me an email, and um, I think they're from Arizona, if I remember right, uh, and they had a late model uh, Ford Expedition. I think it was a 21 model. And uh, I had never heard of this, and this is the reason I, I wanted to mention it. And they were telling me that uh, the vehicle was sitting in their garage and just caught on fire all by itself and uh, took half their house with it. Um, and, you know, and it brought back some memories of back in the earlier 2000s when um, we had F 150s that would catch on fire because of a uh, faulty deactivation switch on the master cylinder. It was a, a cruise control deactivation switch. It would overheat and catch on fire. Uh, the problem with it was it had power going to it at all times. And uh, I went and I'd done a little bit of research on the one with the Expedition. Now, mind you, this has not come across my lap, and I, I didn't even think about it. And uh, the recall on this is a few months old, and I was I was like, well, if I'd known about it, I'd have mentioned it. But on the 2020 to 2022 Ford Expeditions and the Lincoln Navigators, there is a, um, a an electrical module that's got a printed circuit in it, uh, a circuit board and a semiconductor that's overheating and it's catching on fire on these vehicles even when it's not running and there's nobody in the vehicle you know it can be parked and it can catch on fire and uh, Ford and Lincoln are basically supposed to be sending everybody out uh, recall notices uh, that they have to get the vehicle in in order to you know prevent this from happening but I'm like well you know I've got neighbors <laughs> that have navigators in that year model, you know, but from 20 to 22. Actually, I got two, uh, one right next door to me and then one uh, house over uh, on the other side. And uh, I got to thinking about it, and I'm going, well, you know, none of them has ever said anything to me about it. And I'm like, well, it's not very well publicized, uh, but nobody wants to park something in their garage, uh, you know, that is a basically uh, uh playing russian roulette is it going to catch on fire and burn the house down or not so you know when you got something like that they didn't say anything about f-150s or anything but they specifically was the uh suvs the full-size suvs which are the expeditions and the navigators from 19 from 2020 to 22 so you know these are things that you know the average public unless you get something sent to you in the mail and you really read it you don't know, but if you've got a vehicle that could actually just burst into flames while it's parked in your garage, you definitely need to know about this. And, you know, one good point, and Steve, I'm going to get you on the other side of the break here. Just hold on. I don't want to, uh, I ain't going to have time to really get into your question here. But, um, folks, if you've got a question about your car, it's, it's pretty easy. Go to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration site. It's NHTSA. Dot gov and and you can go in and put your VIN number in there and it'll tell you every every recall there is on your vehicle and you'll know if there's something that is detrimental and something you should be aware of uh, and get it fixed especially if it's something to catch your house on fire come on that is N A N H T S A National Highway Traffic Safety Administration dot gov look those up see if there's anything dangerous on your car that needs some attention.